<clears throat> Hello. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, the, the film uh, Vampire, which um, uh, I have had this for some years. Um, uh, this version came out in 2017. Um, I think I got it around that time, though it could have been 2018. Um, and regardless of when I got it, um, this is a pretty good film. Um, uh, it's, uh, made by a Danish director, uh, Carl Theodore, uh, Dreyer. And in short, um, the student, um, of, of the occult, um, named, uh, Alan Gray, he goes to a village in uh, uh, and stays in an inn during his night there, the uh, first night there, uh, uh, a man comes into his room, uh, leaves a package for him, and writes that upon his death to, you know, open it, and, uh, this man turns out to be very wealthy, and he has two daughters. Um, there's also a doctor, and this mysterious woman, whom we find out is a vampire and is controlling uh, various people, including the doctor. Um, and one of the this man's the old man's uh, daughters, um, Leon. Uh, uh, has been bitten by a vampire and is and may die um, unless the vampire is killed so the curse can be lifted and uh, off the village and um, it's a very interesting film um, very different you know it was 1932 it's in German uh, with English subtitles of course um, One thing this that is cool about this uh, particular release by the Criterion Collection, there's that, and you also see skeletons um, <laughs> at various points throughout the film. Um, uh, this comes with the script as well as the story that inspired the film, um, just called, uh, Carmilla, um, and usually, you know, the booklets that often come with Criterion films, they don't typically have, like, the script and or the general source material that the film is based on, but this has it, and I think that's pretty cool that this uh, uh, version has it. Um, of course, this is the Blu-ray version. I believe the, uh, the DVD, when it was kind of like... Because uh, it says here that the rights were like the renewed was in 2008. And I believe that is actually when Criterion, if I could be wrong, first got it got this uh film to be released in their in the criterion collection but i could be wrong and perhaps the blu-ray just has this but i'm thinking the dvd had this too but not having the dvd i you know you know i can't say for sure um uh but so that's something that's cool about this film. Um, pretty much everybody in this film were not actors or actresses, including uh, the leading guy. Uh, real name, Nicholas de Gunsberg, who, from the research, from the, at least little research I've done about this guy, um, 
he seems to be uh, seemed to be an entrepreneur from what I could gather um, and uh, he actually produced this film um, though he uh, uh, went by the alias of uh, Julian West and he would produce this film as long as he could be the lead and so the director um, agreed. And there he is. Um, Giselle and Leon, the sisters, her name, Mando and Sybil Schmitz, um, Lord of the Chetu, um, no doubt I am pronouncing various names wrong, uh, but he was played by Marie Sch uh, Schutz, the doctor, Jan Zahara Heronimico, uh, Margaret Chapin, who is uh, uh, the vampire, Henrietta uh, Guzard, the old servant, Albert. Brass, his wife in uh, Bebony, and the nurse Jane Mora. Uh, yeah, a lot of the yeah, many of the people who are in this film didn't continue acting because you know, they, again, they weren't actors and actresses. Um, they had an opportunity to be in a film. They took it. Uh, the leading man, he also produced the film in lieu of being the, uh, the the lead and you know everybody in here did a very good job um this is a very short film uh 73 minutes so um you know for me uh when i got this uh 2000 uh 17 18 around that time you know, I did not uh, know much beyond the general gist of what, you know, was up on Criterion's, uh, you know, what was on their uh, site uh, to look up for their releases, uh, newer and old. And, uh, yeah, this is a film where it was, you know, essentially a blind buy. And uh, I enjoy it. It was, uh, it's, it's a very good film. It's an atmospheric film. Um, there's inter like titles, inner titles or cards on the screen you know, in German, but there's English subtitles so you can read what's going on and or is being said. And at various points, you can see what's in the book of where, uh, which is what Alan Gray was given um, by like the Lord, the, the father of the two, two girls, um, who also instructs him, like, you know, she must not die. And so, like, so, like, his daughter mustn't die. And so he, uh, basically takes this, uh, sort of, like, assignment, you know, because he's also curious. He, he, he leaves the, uh, like, the inn and walks and sees uh, two figures and then finds out, you know, like, he finds out this place uh, is where... The man lives with his with his daughters, and one is sick, and of course she gets bit by a vampire. And uh, yeah, it's 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 just a very interesting film, you know. Uh, isn't anything too special? Uh, perhaps not, especially compared to the various other vampire films that came out uh, before and after this. You know, Dracula came out before this, nineteen thirty one. And various other vampire films came out afterwards. And also Nosferatu came out um, uh, uh, years prior to this also. Um, but this is a pretty good, this is a very good film. Um, it's one of those films where, you know, when I got out, I was like, either this is going to be either uh, uh, good or I'm not going to enjoy it, and uh, thankfully I enjoyed this. Um, you know, whenever you buy a movie that you're not sure of, because, you know, 
who knows whether the quality will be good because sometimes the description of a film might sound good but once you watch it you're like oh this wasn't actually all that good um and that's something that often worries me might worry you um thankfully this was a very good film and so i had no worries at all at the end of it and at the end of the day uh from getting this movie um there's an alternate version with English text, which I have not watched that version. I'm like, I'm just going to stick to the version that I'm, you know, used to. Um, when watching this, I don't know. I just, I guess I didn't feel uh, very adventurous or adventurous with this film. So, who knows? Maybe I will uh, one day uh, watch that version just to see if there's any difference at all that's major or if it's just small um you know um i don't i don't have much to say about this film um and it is very good but you know it's like um it's one of these movies that you know it, it isn't uh one that i see talked about a whole lot um, I remember there was quite a bit of people discussing this when this version came out. Um, but afterwards, it just kind of went, mm, kind of just uh, went silent, basically. And uh, honestly, um, it's a very good film. Um, if you have not seen this film and you like foreign films or just want to watch something that's a, that's a different horror film and you're able to get this, I think it's worth it. Um, I don't believe this would be, I don't know how much this film would be or at this point in time, um, could be, he, um, yeah, I don't know, probably not as maybe expensive <laughs> as when it first came out, at least I wouldn't believe so, um, though if it comes with, uh, uh, writing vampire with the script in the basically like the story who knows maybe that could possibly have the price be a little more expensive but yeah i enjoy this film it's a it's a movie that's is very atmospheric and yet uh it's just it's just a very it's a different film and every so often I like to watch it, uh, particularly around October. Uh, obviously you can watch it any time of year, but I don't know. This is a film where I feel October is the best time to watch it. So yeah, that's me. Maybe you've heard of this film. Maybe not. If, if not, that is all right. Um, but if you have, heard of this film and seen it uh what do you think do you enjoy it do you not uh, enjoy it why or why not um and yeah you may uh obviously give your thoughts on this film in the comments if you want you don't have to obviously but if you would like to give your experience about this film uh for me obviously i found it with when criterion announced this film for blu-ray and i'm like oh, it sounds interesting i'll i'll get it you know it was that sort of like your experience you know maybe not necessarily criteria but who knows maybe if you live somewhere in the world around the world and you heard about this film through some uh label releasing the uh releasing it and it sounded interesting um would that be how you got it or perhaps you heard about it uh or uh, has seen it before and enjoyed it and so uh you bought it uh you can give your thoughts <laughs> in the uh comments below if you really want um and on, honestly uh, uh upon thinking of the guy went by julian west he uh 
I don't know, he might not have necessarily been an entrepreneur. Um, I think he was, but I don't know. I don't, I, now I don't want to really say exactly what, what he would be, did for a living. Um, but I think he was an entrepreneur. Um, if not, uh, I guess I can correct myself down, down here below. Right, what he really did, um, and also give his proper name because again, it, credited as Julian West, but that was not his actual name. Um, just uh, yeah, sometimes names, especially the names I'm not very familiar with from like another country, they uh, you know, I often uh, mispronounce, and so you know. Eh, you do your best. You try to pronounce it the best way you can. But even then, if you, even if you not enunciate and break the the name down, still you could still be off. But yeah, it's interesting how these uh, all these uh, people in the film uh, who appear in it didn't really do much acting. Uh, there might have been somebody somewhere who had might have done some acting later on or maybe had it been in a couple films before but overall everyone really just this was it this was their like one and done and uh it's a pretty good film honestly uh, like if this was your only movie i don't see how uh that would be a bad thing honestly um <clears throat> yeah anyway uh Hope you're all having a great day. Hope your week was great. Hope you'll have a great weekend. As well as a great week. And I'll talk to you all next time.